Frank Raymond Fernie, Aviation Metalsmith Chief. I went to boot camp in San Diego, California. It was hard. I don't know if I can tell you some of the things that happened in the barracks with the drill sergeant, but yeah, you know, they 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 were hard on some of the people. I mean, real hard on some of the things they did. But uh, I can tell you some of them. You know, we're they would come in in the morning, and you'd have your B drawer, which is what's going to ship. It's, they have mimicked on your rack. You have a gray B drawer. B. It's a, and if you go on a ship, you'll see in the quarters. It's a little cabinet with drawers in it. Not much. That's where you kept all your stuff. Your belt t-shirt, you know, some of the stuff you had to wear. And it had to always be neat, you know. So in boot camp, you've got to have that B drawer spick and span before he comes around. So he'd come around and he'd have a guy with him with a clipboard, you know, and he'd pull that drawer open, you know, and go down to the next guy, you know, and you're all standing at the rack, in front of your rack. Then you had to have your seat, your sea bag rolled up perfect. It had to be perfectly rolled up, you know. And he would get it and he would throw it like that and it would roll out and it would, if it did that, it was good. Well, this one guy didn't have it rolled right, you know, and he said, oh, you got that wrong. He put, now these sea bags at the time weren't canvas. Back in the old days they were. The new ones came out, they were nylon. Put the sea bag over the kid's head and it was down to about here on him, you know, he said, jog in place. And the kids are jogging in place, see. And uh, he lasted about, 15, 20, about 10 minutes and he fell over because he lost oxygen, you know, he pulled it. I mean, that's some of the things that went on. Uh, I didn't get anything bad to me, but there was a few other things that happened, but uh, we had to wash our clothes outside in the thing and hang them on racks and squeeze them out. Uh, march to the galley, march to the drill field, march to the different schools, go to the galley to work. Yep. And we, what you had, to, each week was something new. We had rope tying one week. You learn how to tie knots. This is all going aboard a ship. They thought everybody was gonna go on a ship. So we had to learn how to tie all these knots. Then the next, next week, we had to go into a uh, gas chamber, put on a uh, mask, and uh, it's a building. And it, it's a hallway in there, and they send these, they pop these horrible gas cartridges in there and you had to put it on you you run in and you get halfway through and the guy says take them off you take them off and you, you, they wanted you to feel what it felt like and out the end you run you tears run down your face so that was one week and then we had to go to water survival where we went over to the pool and you had to learn how to swim and stay afloat and what we had to take our jeans off you ever see that where you take your jeans off and you tie knots in the feet you flip it over your head and it makes a little buoy, that. Plus we had to jump off a tower into the water like it's the side of a ship. You had to learn how to cross your feet, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, basic stuff like that. Uh, rifles, we had to go shoot. And uh, that's basically, most of it was marching and learning, you know, responsibility and coordination with rifles and stuff like that.